Hi, everyone. So when we talk about cyber risk in the organization, we tend to get very technical. We tend to talk about malware, viruses in general, impact to the system on a particular application and so forth, vulnerability assessing the measurements and metrics and so forth. But when we talk about this to the leadership, when we take those metrics, we take that risk register to, register to your senior leadership, they have a different view. And, and perhaps when you take to that senior leadership in other business areas, they will scratch their heads and say, well, I don't know anything about that. Um, I don't see that impacting directly what I do. That's your job or something to that effect. So how you take that in consideration, how you change the title of your risks, how you change how you approach, how you change how you tell the story. So I have here four fundamental changes that occur in the past few years that should be captured in your risk register some way or another. And how would you tell this story? So there are four fundamentals. One is the impact of COVID. And I don't mean necessarily in the beginning, in the early years of COVID and nobody knew what to do and working remotely and so forth, but the general impact. Did the COVID uh, impact your organization in terms of moving to the cloud? Right? That's a way to tell that story. Uh, remote working, what was the impact to your organization? Did it open uh, any vulnerability avenues in there that threat actors could take advantage? Something to consider. So it's a general, more broad story around the impact of COVID. The second one, the green transition. I don't know if your particular industry are facing um, this challenge, but yes, there is a green transition. There is a tremendous amount of effort in a governing government investment in moving to green technology and stay away from fossil fuels and so forth. So there is, uh, what, what is the impact on your organization? How will you tell that story? Uh, the other one is the rise of AI. Now, starting in 2022, uh, end of the year, with the rise of ChatGPT, now AI is the buzzword. We all talking about AI, what would be the impact to the organization and so forth. Now, how are you telling that story from a technical perspective of my data is getting away from our organization, our secret data or confidential data, restricted data, whatever, whatever you classify that data is going away and is getting these um, uh, AIs that are hosted outside your organization, or you talk more about in what would be the impact to the organization in terms of employee retention, or um, how is changing the way you do business, or even what is your business advantage against your competitor? What is the conversation around the rising of AI? Lastly, is the microeconomics uncertainty around the world and the geopolitical challenges that we're facing. Is there any impact to your organization about this uncertainty? Do you have um, not only sufficient budget, are you facing some budget cuts? Are you facing some tough challenges that you have to, to face right now? So how are you representing that on your cybersecurity um, uh, register? Uh, have you considered that that lack of investment in certain areas, that you will have a challenge protecting the environments uh, accordingly. And if you don't, what areas are you leaving open? What priorities, what tough situations, tough calls that you as an executive in your organization have to make because of these uncertainties? So these are just four, and you saw that the titles are non-technical. The rise of AI. The, the impact of COVID, the microeconomic uncertainties, and the green uh, transition that we're facing. However, they are, they are very clear underlying cybersecurity concerns that you are addressing under those. However, those titles and the way you tell that story, when you go move up that rush to, to the senior leadership, they will understand, well, there is an impact. There is a business impact, too to our organization on these uh, four different uh, fundamental changes that occur in the last few years. So you, better, uh, you will have a better story and you will connect better 
to other executives as you communicate the cyber risks in your organization.